What's up, toy fans and collectors of all ages? It's your girl, Miss Toy Diva, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel, Fats Toys. Yes, guys and ladies, today is my what? It's my who? It's my birthday. Yes, August 8th is my birthday, and I'm going to share some awesome pickups with you. Picked up a lot of major awesome figures. And I just want to share them with you all. So I want to welcome all my bomb diggity badass subscribers and all my bomb diggity badass viewers. You know who you are. So today in this video, I'm going to show you all the action figures, everything that I picked up for my birthday. The first one I picked up is the two-pack. It's Batman Mad Love. Oh my goodness, pick this up from my local hobby shop. Check this stuff. The, the packaging is amazing. Really, really nice packaging. You have the Joker and Harley Quinn. Really sculpted nice. And look at Harley Quinn in the back. Nice, nice artwork of her. That is so nice. <laughs> I saw this and I had to have it. Had to have it. Had to grab it. Yes. And this is awesome. First, this comes with a, a trade uh, comic book. So that runs about $20. But they did, you know what, they did uh, reissue and put this uh, back in. This came in separately in the animated version, the Joker. So they put that back in. So well, I don't understand that. Because this runs like $40. When these figures run about a good $25 a piece. And then we have Harley Quinn and her lingerie. Nice, nice paint apps on her face. Awesome lingerie. Comes with the stand. This comes with like nine pieces. But to get the, the trade comic book as well. Well, this is really, really dope looking for a price of $40. You couldn't beat that at all. The next one is, yes, NECA. NECA, these video games, ultimate figures. Had to pick this one up. And here it is right here. Bam. Yes, God of War 3. Look at that. Looks just like the video game. At the top, you got the, the God of War and, of course, NECA. And that's just amazing. Looks just like the video game from Sony. Here's the guy of the war here, but wait till you see the figure. Even the back of it has awesome artwork, and it's just sick. It's just so awesome. 31 points of articulation. Really, really nice. But I'm going to open it up. Here's the more artwork on this figure, but wait till you see it if you haven't seen it. Here's the artwork, like a Greek uh, uh, drawing. But here is the figure itself. Oh, my goodness. I have to zoom in on the head scope. Sick. You have two head scopes, you know, and all these accessories. So awesome. Look at the head scopes. I do like the first one that's on them, but look at his body of the oh my goodness. The blades. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You have the blood on his shoulder blades. And look at the chains, the detail of this figure. Now, when I saw this figure, uh, the pictures of it, I was just blown away as it was. And oh my goodness, look at the lion heads that connected to his hands. These came out really, really nice. Two awesome blades of Athena right here. Uh, I played a video game and I love God of War. I have always uh, loved it, followed it from the day one. And it's just really, really amazing that I can't believe that you got two head sculpts and only for $25. So, I mean, if you guys, you guys love God of War, you definitely got to get that one. Went to my local to uh, Target and they did a recess, so they're putting out new toys. And I picked up the Transformers uh, Titans Return. This is the Voyager class version. And here it is of Nucleon and Galvatron. Yes, I was so happy uh, to pick this one up. I'm like, wow, this is really, really great. I do collect Voyager class as well as the leader class. Some deluxe class, but more so Voyager class. Really, really came out nice. This is the new uh, figures that are starting to hit the stores. Target just did a reset, so uh, they getting us some awesome new figures. And guess what? I am going to be picking up those Power Rangers. Those Legacy Power Rangers, I uh, will be getting them. As soon as I get them, I will show in the video. I did see the Sentinel Prime, but I want to get that Autobot Blaster. That is dope looking. This is just came out really, really nice. I really, really like this, and I couldn't leave it. Couldn't leave it behind. The next figure I'm about to show you, I have been waiting for this figure forever. Now, I've been starting to collect Masters in the Universe classes since about a good year or two. And when I saw this piece, I wanted it. But it was really expensive. But my comic shop owner, he's like, you know what? It's your birthday. I'm going to give you a great deal. I'm going to give you this piece for $50. Are you serious? $50. And I'm going to show you the piece that he gave me. Are you ready? Are you ready? He comes. Bam. Yes. Are you serious? Are you serious? Shut the front door, Ram Man, for $50 bills, y'all. I have been waiting for this forever. 
for a great, great price. Look at the armor. Look at the arms on this bad boy. Sick looking. Of course, come with this hatchet. Now, this is a major, major piece in my collection. He is so dope looking. Oh my goodness, look at him. Massive. He's really a big piece. And it's just amazing, the armor on this. And to get it for a great, great price. I am just wild about now. This is so, I mean, this piece is massive. If you guys remember, Ram, Ram Man is huge. And here's the, the figures within that assortment. And, of course, we have the famous bio. They don't do bios anymore, Maddie Collective. But, oh, my goodness, I have been waiting for this piece. So to get it for $50 is, ah, is incredible. But he didn't stop there. He also gave me two new uh, figures. Oh, my goodness. This is Masters of the Universe, not classes, but it's Masters of the Universe, Filmation 2.0 figures. These are Club Grayskull pieces. And here it is right here. This is the first one right here. Of course, they uh, re-designed re, uh, this. As you can see, the Club Grayskull and the eyes and the uh, nose. This is really nice. This comes with a slip cover. And here's the towers on the side right here. And I'm going to show you the figures that he gave me for a great, great, amazing price. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Here comes the first one. And it is... Bam! He... Man! Oh my goodness. And this is the cartoon version. But oh! They hit this figure on the nose. It is... Oh my goodness. I am just wild about this figure. I couldn't believe it when he gave me this figure as well. For $40. Are you serious? It's the cartoon version. I mean, Maddie Collector hit this, this figure out of the box. You hear me? It is so dope. And I believe, I remember they said this figure sold out in less than so many minutes and picked it up for the regular price. This figure, uh, it's, um, the price on that figure is outrageous. I've seen this figure for at least about a good $150, maybe $200 each. The next figure, again, is another Filmation 2.0 figure. And it is, uh, I was wild about this one. Bam, Skeletor. Skeletor, so sick, so dope. Look at the face, oh my goodness. I mean, I can't believe how awesome these figures look. The paint apps on these figures are amazing. I mean, they hit it out of the park. Oh, my goodness. This is another great, great piece as well. The Skeletor looks nice. Just based on the cartoon itself, and it just is sick. I just want to, I always wanted these two pieces, and to get them both is, ah. Uh, for the great price, I mean, you, you just can't beat it. You just can't. The next figure I'm going to show you is from the Batman Arkham Knight. They pushed this figure back. This figure was in the series with Ezreal and Professor Pig and Man Bat. But I'm going to show you this figure. This is the Red Hood right here in number 12, which came out really, really nice. Again, I don't know why they pushed this figure back, but I'm happy that uh, they released it. Pretty nice and dope. It looked like the same uh, figure from the Arkham Knight figure. I, I do have that one to show you that they used the same armor, as you can see, both of them. Uh, together, which it looks like to me they used the same armor and they just kind of tweaked it a little bit and uh, It's okay, but I still a, a big fan of Red Hood, Arkham Knight, Jason Todd, same guy But I want to show you the GameStop exclusive which I picked up a while back and here's the GameStop exclusive As you can see all of them pretty much look the same, you know, they use the uh, the mass of the GameStop exclusive for the one in the middle uh, for the Red Hood. But this GameStop exclusive right now, if you guys have him in your collection, that is amazing because he will set you back a good $90 to $100. He's, yes, he's that expensive. But, uh, yes, all three uh, awesome figures uh, that I has had to have them and, and pick them up in my collection. So pretty much uh, amazing on that part uh, for those as well. The next figure I'm going to show you again is uh, from the uh, DC uh, Comics Icons uh, figures. I don't collect that many icons. The only one I really actually picked up was the Flash. Uh, but I had to pick this one up. And it is number 13, Harley Quinn. Yes, this is so dope looking. This is a very popular figure. It comes with a mallet. comes with three extra hands. And, of course, this is like a cork gun. But I'm going to zoom in on her face because I think her face really, really came out really nice. DC did a great job on the head scope. And uh, the paint apps are really uh, spot on. 
I love the detail of this figure. Came out again, really, really nice. Sorry about the glare on that, but uh, yeah, I had to pick this one up because uh, <laughs> it's a very, very popular piece as well. Next, I picked up from Toys R Us. It came out Alien Day, and it is Space Marine Lieutenant Ripley. This is a Toys R Us exclusive piece, and I'm so, so happy to be able to pick it up, celebrating aliens. But this is a rape, as it is a repaint of the first uh, figure that she did. I never picked that up, but I said, you know what? It's now or never to pick her up, and uh, we're doing a lot of uh, Sigourney uh, Weaver uh, figures now, so. Uh, Hopefully we get to see a lot. And of course it includes the Dark Horse comic book inside. So this came out really, really awesome. Here's the comic book on this side. And here is the back of the, the packaging. Came out really, really nice. A nice little bio. This is Mommy of the Old School Kenner style. But look at these figures that are coming out for the Predator and Aliens vs. Predator. These are awesome and amazing. Can't wait to get these three, four figures right here. That clan, lead, that clan leader is sick. And they, I believe series uh, 16 will be coming out soon. And hopefully this month that we'll be able to, to get those awesome and amazing. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to get that series sick. Uh, the next figure I picked up uh, is from the DC uh, Comics, uh, DC Collectible. This is the Jim Lee Signature uh, series, and it is of uh, Superman. Yes. Now, you guys and ladies remember, uh, they did a, uh, a Batman version uh, last year. As you can see, there's an awesome uh, uh, packaging. You have the DC. You can see it, DC, at the top, and the, the artwork on this bad boy's sketch version is really nice. I'm going to try to go slow so you can get the detail. The pencil sketch came out really nice. Jim Lee did some amazing artwork. Now the first one I didn't open up which was the Batman version but I did take off the the plastic so you guys can really get a detail of this. It comes with the artwork and of course the action figure. So here we come. Bam! Here's the artwork right here which is amazing of, uh, of Superman. But here is the action figure. Is that dope looking? That is so sick. You have a sketch version of the action figure. I've never seen anything like this. This is so amazing. Look at that. Nice artwork on the, the, the figure itself. Sketched onto the action figure. So nice. They got the cape at the bottom. I mean, this is... This is really, really nice. Like I said, I have showed you the Batman version, but I never opened it up. But I got, I wanted to use it, get this full effect version of this figure. And it's really amazing how they did this. I, I really, really like this one. I really, truly did. It's a great design all in all on these figures. Oh my goodness, I'm halfway done, yes. Oh my goodness, can't stop, won't stop. And the last figures I'm going to be showing you are from Marvel Legends. Picked up a lot of awesome Marvel Legends figures, and I'm going to show you. The first one I picked up, finally found the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends, and here comes Namor. Finally got him. As a matter of fact, my <laughs> just picked him up a couple of days ago, and this is the Namor Walgreens exclusive figure, which came out really nice. Comes with two extra hands, and of course the trident. And that, I mean, his head scope came out really really dope oh oh my goodness this is a really really nice piece of namor sorry about the glare this came out really really nice and the figure is amazing i can't wait to see the jim lee's uh punisher can't wait hopefully i'll be able to get that one which i'm should be able to get because i know walgreens drag their feet but look at the artwork the artwork is just sick love it love it love it here's the back of it right here and a nice bio in different languages Namor comes with a trident, and of course these are from the Civil War Captain America. Still on the hunt for the Black Panther, as well as Nick Fury. I'm not going to build the whole wave, but uh, my comic shop already told me that they're going to be ordering cases of Black Panther and Nick Fury, so I don't have to worry about that one at all. But this came out really, really nice. Again, can't wait to get the Punisher. Next figure, oh my goodness, was she hard to find? Miss Diva herself, spider when oh my goodness this figure is so hard to find we have so many collectors uh, as well as uh, comic book uh, fans and collectors of uh, miss spider gwen herself gwen stacy comes with two extra head scopes really nice though look at the ball and chain this is so sick 
Love it, love it, love it. She was really hard to find. Found her in my local Target. And I also picked up Venom. Another. I mean, wow. Three extra head sculpts. Four. Four. Oh, my goodness. You can't get no better than that. This is another popular uh, figure. And, of course, a second a set of hands. Oh, this is so, so sick. You have the two head sculpts from the Exorbi Man. And then you have the tongue hanging out. So this is really nice. Again, the artwork is just so dope looking. Here's the back of it. I love Marvel Legends. Uh, just as much as I love <laughs> Star Wars. But so sick. Finally found those awesome and amazing figures. The next figure I picked up was from an oldie but goodie. It's from the All Father Wave. And I had to pick this up because I missed out on it. And it is... Thor, yes. I did pick up the Marvel Select with the spinning hammer uh, because everybody was losing their mind over that one. And I probably passed on this one, but I'm just happy enough to pick him back up again at Walmart. That's when I picked him up. So here's Thor itself and of course all the figures from that wave. So I'm glad I was able uh, to find him still hanging on pegs. Awesome. Next I picked up from the Captain America wave and here it is. Taskmaster, yes. Finally found him. Look at the red skull head. Sweet. From the onslaught wave. Two head sculpts. Really, really nice. Dope. Oh my goodness. Let's like, tell you. Hasbro has been slamming us with so many waves. You can't even keep up, but you try, you know. So I'm not going to build that many uh, figures, but I will be building uh, some figures uh, for the build a figure wave. And speaking on that, yes. Everybody and their cousin is looking for this. It's the Marvel Legends X-Men Wave Build-A-Figure Juggernaut. Now, when I first first walked into Target, I knew off the bat, as soon as I seen the reset, I'm like, oh, of course, Deadpool and Wolverine was going out the box. But it's okay, but I picked up some awesome figures as well. The first one I picked up from that series is Rogue, yes. Oh, my goodness. She looks really nice, and she is also a sought-after piece with this juggernaut wave they all are but this one is really really dope nice nice of uh, uh, nice paint apps nice of uh, uh, head sculpt on this piece really dope again this piece is amazing look at the artwork and i'm telling you uh, this wave reminds me of the hawkbuster wave because that's how sought after that uh, hawkbuster wave is and it has the wave of of the x-men wave can't wait to get it but guys don't worry about it because you should be able to find this way once it start to really come out because they're hitting Walgreens right now and you know if they're going to hit Walgreens they're going to hit GameStop as well the next one I picked up is of course Iceman he looks another sick figure as well really came out dope like I said I'm happy with the ones that I picked up now I do know that my comic shop did order about two or three cases of these so once he gets them in I'll just give these to my nephew because he wants them and I'll just turn around and get the case instead but I wanted to pick up some of these just in case if he didn't get it in at least I can get a head start on all because this is a big massive wave and of course oh my goodness I want that Deadpool so bad I can taste it <laughs> but I'm hopefully I'll be able to get it I'm I'm patient very very patient I've been doing this for a long time and the last one I picked up is of course cable yes cable was so sick looking look at the guns and the weapons on that came out really really nice of course they're going to be doing a movie on cable so you want to pick him up as well so I didn't do too bad I mean the rest of them was Jubilee and Havoc and all that I did see them but again I wanted Wolverine everybody wants Wolverine and and Deadpool of course but hopefully I'll get them all well, guys and ladies, here is a recap of all the figures, not all the figures, but majority of the figures that I picked up for my birthday. Some awesome and amazing deals, some amazing figures, and I'm so happy to have them all in my collection. Yes, Miss Toy Diva's birthday haul is sick looking. So more videos to come, lots more. I'm going to have a Masters in the Universe Classics uh, video as well as comic books that's coming up i'm going to have a separate uh wrestling hall of video with elite figures as well as basic figures and so much more this is your girl miss toy diva can you dig it can you dig these awesome figures yes it's my birthday happy birthday to me thanks for watching happy hunting and i will see you all on my next video happy birthday miss toy diva you are the bomb.